Hey, you friendos, it's me, Alara, your stream sensei. And today I wanted to give you a quick guide on how to import your model from VTube Studio into OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I'm also going to show you a few ways to achieve transparency so you can decide what's best for you. Without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go ahead and set up inside VTube Studio. To the left, click on the background icon and set the desired background color by scrolling down to Color Picker. From here, you can set any color that you want for your background. I typically use a black background for my model, but for this example, we're going to use a blue background and add a color key. Next, let's head into our OBS so we can bring our model in. Now we have a few options to achieve transparency. So I'm gonna show you the first method and then the second method, which is my preferred one. Under sources, we're going to add a window capture. Go ahead and click the plus button and select on window capture. Go and create a new one and we'll call this VTuber model. Next, you're going to want to select the correct window. In this case, it's going to be our VTube Studio window. Okay, great. Our model is showing up on the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the colored background. Right click on the VTuber model source that you just created and select filters. Click the plus button and select color key. On the color key type, we're going to select blue. And there you go. You can see our model is all set on the other side of the screen. I would recommend to adjust the similarity and smoothness so that way that your model looks the way you want it to on screen. This method is fantastic if you're collabing with someone else and want to bring their model in. It also really helps if you want to put a specific color behind your model to help with color blending. All right, and now for my preferred method. Under sources, click the plus button and select game capture. We'll call this one VTuber model as well. Now we want to go ahead and select the VTuber studio window. So scroll down to capture specific window and select VTube studio. I would also recommend to go ahead and take off the capture cursor selection. Now that our model is showing on screen, go ahead and right click on the source that we just created and select properties. From there, just go ahead and tick the allow transparency box. Ta-da, you're all set. This is my preferred method because it offers the greatest quality and eliminates pretty much any background color. I find black works best for me, but it depends on your model. Play with the colors and find out what works best for you. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for tuning into this guide on how to bring in your model from VTube Studio into OBS. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button as it helps support me and lets me keep creating helpful guides for you. Until next time, happy VTubing.